why we don't want to cut our calories too low when we are dieting. Yes, you will lose weight if you cut your calories super low. So why am I saying this is something you shouldn't do? Doesn't that mean that you will get to your results a lot quicker? Not necessarily. The calories you consume give your body the energy that it needs to function properly. And these bodily functions burn calories, meaning you are burning calories all day long, not just when you are exercising. We burn calories from eating, talking, sleeping. All of these things take calories. This is the breakdown of your total daily energy expenditure. Can we see that okay? Roughly, you're gonna burn around 60% of your calories from your basal metabolic rate. As you can see here, that makes up a significant amount of your total daily energy expenditure. And you don't even have to do a whole heck of a lot. And 60% of your total daily energy expenditure is coming from your BMR. Those are your bodily functions that you're not even realizing that you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis. Next, we have our non-exercise activity. This is the amount of calories that you are burning throughout the day without even realizing it, non-intentional movement. So me right now, I'm talking to you guys, I'm moving my hands, I'm burning calories while I'm doing all of this, roughly around 15%. Next, we have our thermic effect of food, which is 10%. The thermic effect of food is basically the amount of calories that you are burning during digestion. So when you're eating protein, carbs, and fats, when you're eating food, your body has to work in order to break that food down. So during the digestion process, you are burning calories from that bodily function. And then lastly, your exercise activity thermogenesis. That's the exercise that you are intentionally doing each day. The voluntary exercise, only roughly 5% from your total daily energy expenditure. So your body is burning calories all day long. So when your calories get cut too low, your body is running on less calories than it is used to, which causes us to feel lethargic, irritable, and hungry. I'm sure we have experienced a symptom like this once or twice in our life where you may be thinking, ah, you know what, I can handle it. I am up for the challenge in order for me to lose weight a little bit quicker. Yeah, that may be true, but you can only handle that combination of symptoms for so long. Eventually, the increased hunger and irritability can catch up to you, which typically causes people to overeat, and sometimes even binge, which typically results in the individual putting all of the weight that they lost back on and sometimes even more. So maybe you're thinking, well, Kristen, maybe I will just do more cardio as a way to burn more calories. But when your body is deprived of energy, it's going to compensate and use that energy for functions that it thinks are more important than exercise, which leads to a reduction in your performance. When you are doing exercise, you're probably not burning as many calories as you may think. So ask yourself, is seeing the scale going down a little bit quicker worth you feeling lethargic, irritable, and hungry all the time? Dieting is hard enough as is, so don't make it harder than it needs to be. The goal should be to be dieting on as many calories as possible. If you're seeing the results that you're looking for, you have good strength in the gym, and you're not irritable and having carb rages on your spouse, you're doing something right. And the best course of action is for you to just keep doing what you are doing.